So I want to show you this thing. It is a huge pile of garbage. Uh, this is a Drillmaster uh, rotary, basically a wannabe Dremel uh, I bought from Harbor Freight. And actually I bought two of them. I have another one right here. I've been using it. And you'll see this one actually, I cut the end off so I could run it off my power supply to get more power out of it. Uh, probably one of the worst Dremels I have ever used. I actually, the reason I bought two of them was because, well, it came with different bits and tools and I thought, well, you know, maybe some of them be okay. And uh, I also thought, you know, I figured this wasn't the greatest, so I thought maybe I could, you know, between the two of them, make a decent one, maybe modify it to run on batteries, you know, build my own kind of thing. No, there, there's just no chance in hell of this thing ever working. Um, it, this is the, uh, just the, the printout from the webpage. It's $10. I don't think I paid $10 for this. I think I actually, the reason I bought two of them was because uh, it was so cheap, probably maybe probably 5 or $6. I don't remember. It was a while ago. But this one has never been opened, so we're going to open this here. I'm going to show you how terrible this is. And just don't even waste your money. One of the reviews on the website, actually there's a lot of great reviews, which are, if you, once you see this thing, you'll know why those reviews cannot be real. But one I do kind of agree with, and it talks about, it said something about, it's great for your kids as, you know, one of their first power tools. And I can kind of get behind that, only because this thing is so weak that you, you couldn't possibly hurt yourself with it. Um... But there's also parts about it that I wouldn't give a kid because they're just it's just dangerous. Okay, so now this one is a little bit different than this one I'm noticing. Uh, power buttons recessed, the molding or the, the housing is different, and these are actually bought at the same time. Um, so it'll be interesting to take this. I want to do I do want to take this apart. I've taken this one apart, um, so I know what's in this. Uh, Wow, this is completely different because the screw holes are on the other side. They had different, different, it's completely different. Um, but I will take this apart. We'll look at what's inside of it, and uh, it's it's pretty funny, actually. Uh, this, this does, I don't even know what that's for. It does absolutely nothing. Um, the cutoff wheels they give you, yeah, they're garbage. I mean, these things, they will literally come apart while you're using them. They don't cut. Most of the time, cutting wheels will just, you know, they wear down until there's nothing left. Now, these things, there's just nothing to them. That's why I wouldn't give this to a kid, because if they were to use this, these, I've actually had these explode on me, because I tried using them. I figured I got them. I might as well use them, I mean, even if I, you know, can't cut much with them. I, you know, at least use them. I have them. Now, they, they most of them broke apart. As soon as they heated up, they just blew apart. Luckily, I was wearing uh, eyeglasses, so you know, I you know, didn't get anything in my eyes, but let's open this up. And here's the rest of the tools they give you. They give you a very small that's a drill bit. And as you'll see, this thing doesn't have the strength to drill. I mean, it, it really is that bad. These, they give you these, these discs or these bands to put over now, first off, this the, the material that they use, the sanding material, is awful. It just immediately disintegrates as soon as you put it against anything. And they stretch. So you see it's on this rubber piece. As soon as you start using it, they just start to spin. So they're, that's worthless as well. Um, they give you a stone. These cloths aren't too bad. I mean, how bad could they be? Um, the other thing is... In the chuck, depending on the tool you're using, because they have different diameters, you got to use different bits. So you can't just swap one in and out. You know, if you had a real Dremel, you know, the chuck expands or whatever, you have to use the right size, otherwise it doesn't fit right. Isn't that great? Isn't that awesome? But anyway, that's not even the worst of it. That's, that's, that's just, you know, a little crap here and there. These, uh, these stones are completely worthless. They just fall apart when you try to use them. But, uh, here, let's... Oh, and then here's the power. This is a 500 milliamp, 0.5 amp, 12 volts. And let's plug it in, and I'll show you 
how this works or doesn't work. Let's put one of those in it. Screw that on. Turn it on. Mm, sounds pretty, uh, pretty fast, pretty powerful. Watch. Hardly any pressure whatsoever. It can't even turn itself against <laughs> against the cord. That's how weak they are. Uh, let's do this. Let me. Uh, of course, now it's all tangled up. Let's use one of these cutting discs. I got the disc on there. So now we got to find the right size. It's not this one. And you got to do this every time. Take this off. You got to find that you make make sure you don't lose these because then you know you're screwed. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Let's put that in there. And I think for ten bucks that's not too bad. You know, we'll wait till you see what it doesn't do. And you got to make sure you get that nice. And this uh, this is just press board. It's got some glue on it. This was from an old project. Just found it on the floor. It's going in the trash. Let's see if we can cut into it. Now you'll notice this started moving outwards because it unscrews itself. It's not strong enough. And if you look, if you can even see it on camera, see where it's scraping? Because you can't tighten this thing hard enough to actually make it hold. And as soon as I put any pressure whatsoever, it just it just stalls. So you could sit here all day long with no pressure at all and just slowly eat away at it, but uh, you're gonna heat up the disc and then the disc is gonna explode. And on top it's gonna take forever. And this is press board. I mean, this stuff, and this is old press board too, as you can see glue on it or anything else. Um, yeah, th this stuff's not very, very hard or very dense, I should say. So yeah, it, it is a pile of a pile of garbage. Now these pieces actually aren't too bad. I wouldn't say they're great, but these are just grinding. They say they're diamond tipped or something like that. And they're I, I call it bull. Um, the, these aren't too bad. Now what this is good for is if you're doing like three D printing and you need to clean up a print or something like that. It kind of works for that. The problem is if you want to do anything substantial and grind into it, th this thing just doesn't have the power. Now, what I have done, and I'll show you this one here. Is this one shorting out? I have this hooked up to my uh, my power supply, my bench power supply, and it's running at 12 volts and two amps. This one actually sounds nicer. But that's 12 volts. Two amps. Nothing. So let's turn up 18. Eighteen. Eighteen volts. It's still doing it. Let's turn this up to twenty-four. Let's double the voltage. Nothing. Um it's got it's got no no power whatsoever. So let's take this thing apart. Let's see what's in it. Can't find my other screwdriver, so we'll just use this one for now. And when you see what's inside, this you'll know why it has no power. And again, for small things, um, you know, like I said, for three D prints, if you're if you want to, uh, you know, clean up your prints or whatever the case may be, yeah, maybe. Oh, that's you gotta take this off. Hey, that's what it does. It holds it on from when you take it apart. And that's it. That's all that's in it. It's DC motor. Not even a very powerful one. Um, there is a, a ball bearing there. That's pretty. That's kind of nice. Uh, it's just a DC motor. There's no um, gearbox or anything. Usually they got like a, a torque multiplying gearbox or a gearbox that torque multiplies. Um, it'll step down the speed. You have an extremely fast motor. It'll step it down or even step it up. You lose some torque or you gain torque depending on what it is. But uh, but it's just a brushed DC motor. 
which is, you know, that's simplicity. You know, you can say that, you know, well, it's simple, so there's not much that can break. Problem is you're putting a lot of load on this motor that it really doesn't like. And also there's no ventilation whatsoever inside this. So this motor is going to overheat very quickly. Um, I can, it's already warm just from the little bit that we, I've used it. Now, one thing I can do is I can reuse this motor and something else. Um, I got to find a way to get this off. I'm assuming that this chuck and all this piece has been uh, pressed in. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to do with it besides reuse that. I'd like to, re you know, uh, you can always save ball bearings and that's a nice ball bearing there. Um, but I don't know how I'm going to get that off without destroying it. Let me see what's inside here. Yeah, it's just, that's just pressed in. So I'd have to probably heat up, oh, my cat just jumped up. Uh, probably got to heat up this to get that off and it's just not worth it. So, I, like I said, I tried using this one, and uh, actually, let me take that one apart too and just see if the motor is any different. I don't think it is. I think the motors are exactly the same, but I don't remember. Um, you know, I, I've used it for small things here and there, but it winds up every time I go to use it. I think, ah, oh, this is good enough for this, and then I go to use it, and I wind up just pulling out the real Dremel. Yeah, or sometimes I've even just used a uh, hand drill. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing. It's basically the same motor. Now that I got them both back together, and this one isn't plugged in. Um, the problem with 3D prints, if you are going to use this on 3D prints, is, as you know, with plastic, uh, it you gotta, it's it's going to melt. It's it, plastic is just it's just going to melt. So if you're going to drill through it, it's got to be fast. You got to you you basically got to drill through as quick as possible if you're sitting there just slowly going through well that plastic's going to melt and deform and uh yeah that's no good so you need a good dremel to to do that um so you could do very 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 light work with this as far as giving it to a kid for their first um power tool as the review said i if it were mine, probably not. I'd probably get them a real Dremel. Um, and the reason being is, if they really tried, if they really tried to actually use this and they're putting a lot of pressure, there's a chance that one of these things is going to break, um, fly back and hit them in the face. Uh, these discs are not safe. These are just too thin and just too too fragile. Um, now you could just get different cutoff wheels. You know, real cutoff wheels and use it with this, I, I suppose. Um, but again, when you're only going lightly, you're building up a lot of heat, and you know, it's this, this or that. I like real Dremels because they're fast, they're powerful. You can cut through something. Yes, there's going to be heat, but it's going to be quick. Uh, this, it's sustained, and so that's no good. So I don't know. I would just say uh, stay away from this kind of stuff. I, any kind of Dremel stuff from there. I haven't used the more expensive ones, but I have seen their power drills, and I've seen people like Clive. Or not, was it Clive? I don't know if it was Ave or, or Big Clive took them apart. And there's nothing to them. So I wouldn't spend your money on that. I would actually get a... I mean, I would get a, a uh, Ryobi before I got, uh, you know, a Harbor Freight uh, power drill. So I would stay away from any of that. If you're going to get a Dremel, just get the real thing. So I just wanted to go through a couple of these reviews. You see there's a lot of five-star ratings. I don't think so. Uh, so we'll look at the, let's look at the five stars. Um, haven't used the product yet. Okay, but I'll write a recommendation. I still haven't taken it out of the box, but I had one once before and I thought it was very good, so I bought it again. Well, then why would you say you haven't used the product if you had one before? Um, my art projects have reached epic levels. Highly doubt that. Um, when I retire, I will find the time, but have enjoyed using this set for brief projects. Love it. I like everything. These, th there's no way these are real. There is a, a tiny power, perfect for small like, small work like polishing my truck's rear camera lens. Eh, you might be able to do that. Um, let's look at the the negatives. Great, easy to change burrs, lightweight, has good torque, one star. <laughs> Cheap tool, not worth it. Bad one for Harbor Freight, accessories don't stay in the hole, does not tighten down enough. Uh, it's too small and the discs do not stay, which I can tell you that's the truth. They just walk right off. Um, did not perform, purchase it. Something, something, something. 
um, did not return it, it was, it was only $9. Not durable, broke within 10 minutes, and I could see that, probably overheated. It broke within an hour, again, uh, probably overheated. Uh, the shaft kept coming loose on the attachment. Uh, too weak, a pain got to change, a pain got, to, you have to change the collar for each bit. Yep, that's a pain in the butt. Bits don't stay in, it's useless. It is incre incredibly useless. Um, terrible times, I gave this product to try on two different occasions in the past two years, and both times proved terrible. Both times on the first and ultimately the only time it was used, it broke. <laughs> and each time was a different inch ish issue rendering the tool worthless. Also, it crapped out both times, very minimal task being done. I got it, it's only 10 bucks, but geez, yep, very disappointing avoid. You, you gotta read these, these are hilarious. Um, so, yeah, don't, uh, what are these? Yeah. I don't think it has the strength to actually do any of that with unless you're really pushing down on it. And no offense, but that looks like crap. So, yeah, maybe for kids, but I wouldn't buy it for my kids. So, anyway, see you guys later.